Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Infiniti Q60 or the Infiniti G37 and some of the features that you may not know that they have. So stick around. So the first feature we're going to talk about is here on your little remote. Uh, you have a lock, unlock, and your trunk button right here. But if you hold down your unlock button for more than three seconds, your windows will roll down. Now if you want the windows to roll all the way down, you have to continue to hold the button in. If you want to let go and uh, have them stop at a little different height, you can do that too. So let's check that out. So I'll start by holding it in and then I'll let go when they get about halfway down. So you can kind of control the height right there. So if you want to get to your hard key, it's actually inside this little infinity remote. There's a little button on the back here. I'm just going to click that and then the key just kind of slides out right here. So another way to control your windows going down or up is with your hard key. So put your key in the door, turn right, your windows will roll down, turn left, and your windows roll up. So if you want to lock your doors, you just hit the lock button, but it's going to make a horn sound. But if you don't want that horn sound, uh, you can actually hit your lock and your unlock button at the same time, hold it in, and the lights flash. So now when I lock it, it just locks and unlocks without the horn. If you want it back, hold both of them again, And now when I lock it, horn hits. So here's uh, something cool with your lights. If you have your lights turned on to auto, and on your passenger side, through the window here, you can see a little circle right there. And that's actually the uh, indicator for your light. So it's kind of uh, tells your auto if it's daylight or nighttime. So you can see with that open, the headlights are not on, but we cover that light up. The lights come on. Take it off. And the lights go off. Okay, so this next one's pretty cool. If your battery kind of goes dead on your little uh, uh, key here and you still need to start your car. There's a spot right down here That you can slide this into and as you can see right now, there's nothing uh, going on on the dash, but when I slide this in You see my dash lights up Telling me to press the brake Now I can start the car So in the back seat here, if you have a small child in a carrier, you can look on both sides of the seats here and you can see there's these little slits. And this right here is actually where you can strap in your carrier. So in the trunk, if you want to put your seat down, there's actually a little lever right here. Just pull that. And your seat will go down. Just in case you want to uh, use your fog lights, this is actually your fog light right here. It's uh, on off for your fog lights. But in order for the fog lights to work, uh, they won't work when your high beams are on. So your low beams have to be on. Turn it all the way over to this position and then turn your fog lights on. So right there they're on. Hey guys and that is it for the video. Hope that helps and hope you guys will like it and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.